All right, so welcome back to the Burgess Wheels channel, your one-stop channel for everything under the sun. In today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a 2004 Honda Accord, and I'm going to be replacing the starter. So just stick around. I'm going to show you guys step-by-step step how I'm about to do this. Um, so yeah, let's get it. Before we do any of this stuff concerning the starter, we want to make sure we disconnect that negative battery. Go ahead and remove that negative battery uh, connection right there. So let's do that first. Take off these two 10 millimeters right here. So there's one on this side and one on this side. After that, we could be able to take this cover off and then we proceed to the next step. Next thing you want to do is just pick, pick this piece up, okay? And then what I'm going to do is set it to the side. Now, like you guys know, I always like to put back the bolts. Uh, sorry, the nuts. Where... I got them from. It's just easier for me to find them when I'm finished. Okay. okay next step is taking out these five. Uh, well, there's a nut, a bolt here, a nut here, a bolt here, a nut here, and there's also another bolt back here. So I'm gonna take those five out. Okay. Also, if you look down, if I can get the camera so you guys can see it, there's gonna be a bolt right here for that bracket. Okay right here and so we're going to take that out too uh the reason why i'm doing that is because i need to separate this piece here from the rest of the the uh the intake so i'm going to take this right here and i'm going to pretty much like move it out the way because if you can see back there uh, let's see if i can get see that little silver that silver thing that's where the starter is and uh that's where we want to be straight back there okay so You'll see a better um, visual of it when I actually move this out the way. So let's get it. And so what I'm gonna do now, I have the extension here and now I could pretty much just go and there you go, see, just broke it loose. So that's how you're gonna get that one out. And so all of the, the, the bolt that was here is out, the nut, the bolt, the nut, and the bolt that was here is out. All of which are 12 millimeters, okay? And that one down there by the bracket, okay? That was right there. You see that one's out. So now, like you see, I could just pull this thing out, right? Just wanna gently pry it, see if we could get it out. And the whole goal of this is, is I'm not gonna be taking anything else off. I'm just gonna pull this out. I've done this before on another uh, um, a cord, and I didn't have to do that because I always try to figure out which way I could do something, you know, the, le the, the, the way that will be the least time consuming, okay? Um, without causing any damage, of course. But this is what I find to be the easiest is just pull this off and that will give me space to get to the the um, the starter. So let's get it. After pulling it apart, you can see now that I got space to go ahead and get down in here. Now I have access to the starter. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so that's the next step. So 12 millimeters, all of that is out. Now we got that space. One of the things I noticed is an endurance uh, to take this thing all the way apart is, is the vacuum line right here. So the only thing you gotta do is just pull that out, okay? And then there's another, there's another one right here. Uh, you just gotta pull that out the way, okay? So now it's just more, you have more space. Now we're gonna go down here and um, we're gonna take this rubber boot off right here. See that rubber boot, I'm gonna take that off. Okay, pull that back, and then after we pull that back, we're gonna have to unscrew it. All right, so let me show you guys where I'm at. So to get to that nut where the boot is at, um, I had to use a uh, flathead and pull on it. It was kind of a little difficult. I'm gonna now uh, move this knock sensor right here. Uh, there's a clip underneath, so you just pull on that. I already um, pulled on it so it's loose, and I just pull that out. Want to get that? You see how I'm pulling that right here? Okay, so let's focus. Just wanted to show you guys how I'm getting this uh, nut off. I just put the 12 millimeter right on top of it. Uh, that's the easiest way I see to actually get in that tight spot to get it off. So after I get that out, then I'm gonna proceed. All right, so let me show you guys how you wanna get this connector piece out. You're gonna just use, okay, a flathead screwdriver and literally just pull this piece back and it will come out. Okay, see what I'm doing there? Just pull it back, see? and it's out. So the piece that connects to the connector is actually in between the rubber piece. Okay, that's it's in here. So that's how you would do that part. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and there's a bolt back there. Let me see if I can give you guys a better view of it. That bolt is right there, okay, back here. Let me see if I could get a, right there that I'm pointing to. So I believe that's a 12 millimeter 
and then there's another bolt that we're gonna have to break loose that's a 17 millimeter right there that i'm pointing towards so we just use some extensions to get to that 17 millimeter and then um this one here is pretty it's far it's closer here so i could probably just put a, a regular uh, 12 millimeter on there and break that so after we get these two bolts out this um these wires are going to be out the way. There is also a clip that was, you know, this one's already broken, but you right here. So you just take it out, pinch it together and get it out. You want everything to be disconnected from the starter. So when you disconnect those two bolts, um, you can take the starter out because there's nothing else that's going to be entering it from coming out. So let's get that in the back is actually not a 12. It's a 14 millimeter. So I have my, uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a wrench to, to break it. Okay. I find that that's actually easier to use the wrench. Okay, so um, that's all I had was uh, zip ties. So that's what I'm doing to just help keep this thing out the way. Uh, you could use anything just to tie it up. Um, you know, make sure you don't apply too much pressure on this piece right here. But just to keep it um, out the way, that's what I, I use some zip ties. And uh, I have a 14 millimeter, and that's what I'm going to use to pretty much break this thing loose and um, get it out of there. So I'll check back in a little bit. Oop. After breaking it loose, I could pretty much, you can see it now, I could turn it by hand. Okay. I want to get that out of here. And after we get that out, we're going to go tackle that 17 millimeter. So this is a 14 millimeter, not a 12. Um, but yeah, this is pretty simple. As long as you get it, break it out with, I break it out with the wrench. And then right away, I just start screwing it with my fingers. Cause it's kind of tight in there that's out here's my setup guys the 17 millimeter i got the swivel have that extension ratchet and some a bar for leverage and i'm gonna go ahead and break that loose and i would say is that this bolt has a lot of thread on it so um take a while to get it this to this point but now that we have it we can just take it out okay and now this starter should be able to come out you just gotta wiggle it out and here we are i'm gonna go ahead and put the new one right back through that slot put the new one in and do everything in the reverse order so let's get this in there now so from here, everything is just in the reverse order. We're going to put those uh, that 17 millimeter back in and that 14 millimeter back over there. And we're just going to go ahead and start hooking the stuff right back up. So we're just going to do everything um, in the reverse order. So let's get that 17 millimeter bolt in um, by hand and that 14 millimeter, <laughs> millimeter bolt in by hand. So let's get it uh, to start it like this. And I came around with my other hand to start the bolt. OK, because uh, you want it to be lined up. So. Put the bolt in there and now it's lined up and now i'm going to do the same with the well the 14 millimeter i'm going to hold it and use my other hand to try to get that 14 millimeter on on the top part over there so that's what i did and that's what you should do also all right so i have the bolts in on the uh the starter um so one thing i will say is that i you know it's kind of impossible to get a torque wrench down here um so what i've done is i've basically went off of feel so i try to duplicate or you know feel out how it felt when I took it off and I try to like match that. Okay, so 17 millimeter down there and the 14 millimeter back there and it's tight. Okay, it's in there. Just be sure not to over tighten it, but make sure it's not loose at all. Okay, so I use the same procedures as I did to take it out. Um, so now I'm gonna connect the boot back on here with the, with the, the nut and push this piece back for the connector. Uh, put back the uh, the knock sensor, and again we're just doing it back in re we're doing it in reverse order at this point. Okay, yeah. things back up. Um, all the wires are connected. Lock sensor in. Um, now the next thing we have to do is gonna reconnect this uh, this vacuum to here, and we're gonna start to put the manifold back together. Now at this point, usually we want to replace this. However, in this job, the customer. I didn't want to replace it for whatever reason, but usually I would do that. But I'm not gonna lie, I have done this 
uh, similar, well, the same year, um, Honda Accord, and I didn't really replace that. And we never had an issue. But usually that's what you'd want to do. Just, you know, you don't want it to leak. You just want to just replace it while you're here. Okay? But we're going to put it back. All right, so I'm at this step now. I'm just putting the, uh, the nuts and the bolts back, the manifold piece. So what we're going to do um, is I'm just going to put them in by my with hand. Um, the one, two, three, four, and the fifth one over here. And then after this, what you need to do is torque them down to 16 pound feet of torque. Start in the middle, then you do uh, this one here, then you go over here, and you want to do it in that pattern, okay? But it's going to be 16 pound feet of torque all the way around. Uh, everything is on. Um, I'm going to check that all the wires are connected, and then put the negative cable back on. And only thing left to do now is just put that plastic covering on and you're good to go. So everything is back together. Um, got the bolts and everything in, covering. And now you ask the customer to start the car. And the starter is working perfectly fine. And that's it. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.